Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel InfoRosan and I hope you are doing well. Friend, in today's video, we are going to check the intensive opportunity provided by the ISRO and it is a very good opportunity for you guys. Uh, so you can see, yes, this is the sample certificate which you will get once you complete the internship. Uh, so we are going to check all the details, what is the eligibility criteria, who can apply and all these things. So please watch the video completed here. So friend, for the internship, uh, you can see here, uh, you have to write on in the uh, Google search bar either IIRS or ISRO and then you will come to this uh, page here, you can see Indian Institute of Remote Sensing which is known as the IIRS and below you can see external student internship. So simply you have to click on that and you will be redirected to this internship page here. So friend, uh, if you don't know about the uh, IIRS that is a uh, Indian Institute of Remote Sensing it is the part of the Indian Space Research Organization so you can see here on this certificate you will also get the name of the uh, ISRO you can see in the IIRS uh, so friend uh, please note this is the only sample certificate to get the idea means uh, what types of certificates you will get here so let's go to the website here and uh, you can see here uh, below uh, the details regarding the internship they have given you can see here that uh, intensive start date is uh, from the 1st January 2026 and uh, some other details let's check it uh, so you can see the eligibility criteria here is given that is uh, you should be undergraduate postgraduate or PhD students and uh, possess a citizenship of India and uh, you can see here the uh, next uh, eligibility condition is given that is a duration of the intensive work will be minimum period of 45 days and a uh, student should possess an uh, aggregate minimum 60% and if you are having a CGPA system then you will require 6.32 on a scale of 10 so you required a 6.32 pointer out of 10 here and uh, here some other details are also given regarding the eligibility criteria so you can see here like if you are a B, B tech holder then uh, you should have uh, completed a uh, 6 semester uh, minimum 6 semester you should pass and the duration will be given 45 days. If you are the uh, MEM tech, uh, then uh, you should have uh, completed a uh, first semester and uh, your uh, intensive duration will be minimum 100 days. Uh, and if you are the, uh, you can see here, uh, BSc or diploma, then uh, only final year students can apply if you are pursuing the uh, MSc and diploma and uh, the duration will be 45 days intensive. And here you can see uh, MSc and uh, the students should have a completed uh, first uh, semester and uh, minimum intensive duration is the 120 days and for the uh, PhD holders uh, the scholars should have completed coursework and uh, you, and you can see the minimum 30 month is the intensive requirement here given and uh, talking about the other details you can see here uh, some general informations are given uh, which you should know uh, like you can see here uh, only uh, Indian nationals are eligible for intensive and uh, you can see here uh, the students should possess uh, an aggregate of minimum 60% which we have discussed uh, above and uh, you can see here confirmation, confirmation letter and uh, selection of intimation will be sent through email and uh, you can see here uh, you have to take the no objection certificate uh, or recommendation from your college institutes uh, and uh, a students are not selected will not be informed so if uh, all the students are applying they are only the shortlisted students will get the email on their given email id and if you are not selected then you will be not intimated or you will get didn't get the any notification regarding your selection so you do not uh, receive your email and the minimum duration of internship uh, or the summer training you can see minimum 45 days they have mentioned and uh, you should uh, carry uh, you can see uh, three passport sites color color photograph original copies of the documents varied uh, photo id proof issued by the government of india and id card issued by the college or university and uh, you can see last date of application will be uh, 31st october so you have to uh, complete it before 31st october actually uh, this uh, uh, notification for the internship published uh, two times in a year uh, so first you have to uh, apply before 31st October and the second one is you to apply 31st March so there is a two, two chances for this internship here and uh, again talking about this some other details you can see here other informations are given here the internship project work will be allotted based on the availability of expertise project facilities and suitability of the students course to the work and uh, 
all the applications listed will be uh, scrutinized by the respective center. And one of the important thing here that project trainees and interns shall not be eligible for any stipend or any other financial assistance. Uh, so friend, uh, you will get the certificate uh, for the uh, project trainees and interns upon satisfactory completion. So if you complete the internship properly and you will get the satisfactory result, then you will be get the certificate also, which I have shown in the earlier. So friend, these are the requirements. Uh, uh, so before going to check how you will apply, if you are not subscribed our channel InfoRosan yet, please subscribe. We are making the pre-certification courses, jobs and industry opportunity and technology related videos. So please subscribe InfoRosan. So how you will apply? So first you do the open the link which I have given in the video description box. So here you can see you can uh, simply click on this apply now and you will be redirected to this page here. So the application is divided into seven uh, stages. The first one is the uh, you have to do the login and register. So you have to provide your details like uh, full name as per Aadhaar card since this is the uh, government internship and enter, you have to enter your email ID and some other details. Uh, you have to also upload the Aadhaar here photo and then you have to create one password and you have to do the registration. So once you do the registration then you have to go to the uh, next step that is a uh, personal details. You have to provide your details like uh, some personal details uh, address etc you can see your address then your educational details then the other details like uh, if you have done any project your academics then uh, uh, you have to upload uh, st your photo your id and signature in the uh, step 6 and you have to select the course and then you have to check your application form and you have to submit it and friend if you have any query regarding this uh, intensive opportunity please uh, comment on the video we will definitely check your answers and uh, provide you the answers of the your questions so please subscribe in for us and thank you